using shapes and the pen tool as frames. So in InDesign, we have also the pen tool like Illustrator and we can use it as a shape or frame. That means that if I click on the pen tool, create a shape. Make sure you have a fill color. And with the selection tool, I'll just select the shape, like file and place. You'll notice that the shape that I created with the pen tool is now a frame. I mean, you can use it as a frame. Let's make sure we have the frame fitting and see the other options. When you right click under fitting, we use the fill frame proportionally, which is the best option to make sure the frame filled, but proportionally. We have also fit content, so it will fit the content to the frame, but sometimes it will not be exactly like we want it to fill the whole frame. Content aware fit, which makes InDesign recognizing the content or the main content. If there is a person here or something that will have more focus. Fit frame to content. So you can see it's fitting the frame to the content, which is not always the best option. And fit content to frame, which sometimes will just stretch the image. Let's try it again. Fit content to frame. So in the frame fitting, I will always pick the fill frame proportionally. Now in the pen tool, we have the same options. Pen, add anchor point, delete, or convert direction point tool. You can use it how you want, as a shapes as well. Hit down stroke. Same goes to the shapes like the rectangle. But in the rectangle, you can use the direct selection tool to manipulate the shape and use it as a frame or shape. Make sure with the direct selection tool that the shape is not yet selected. So if it's selected like here, you can click and then select with the direct selection tool. Click and then click and drag. edit the shape so it can stay as a shape or file place and then place an image on the right in the properties panel frame fitting so we have the pen tool the shapes and the frames all of them can be an image frame and the shapes in our pen tool be also a shape